Hi there. In this video, we'll learn the difference between functions and relations. These are quite similar, but not the same. The difference is there, which is noteworthy. And we will see how we can differentiate between these two concepts. If we are considering some ordered pairs, they are representing a function here. In this case, two gives rise to one and four gives rise to two and six gives rise to three. Now, if we look at this possibility here, seven is giving rise to one as well as three is giving rise to one. So it means the dependent variable that is this variable, which is usually y, it is having a value repeated with different values of independent variable. So in that case, it is a relation. Let us see with the help of diagram as well that how this relation concept can differ from the functions. So here we should note that 7 and 3 are those elements that are giving rise to the same value of the dependent variable that is y, which is numerically speaking equal to 1. The difference between the two is uh, in terms of its notation uh, is, is single valued function versus multi valued function. Uh, function is basically a single valued function whereas relation is multi valued function. That will be clear with the help of the diagram in which we use a vertical line. So it is known as vertical line test. So what happens is we draw a function and we also draw a vertical line on that and if it is a function it will intersect only at one point but if it is a relation it will intersect it at multiple points. So let us consider all of these five cases. This is function because this is the fun uh, function itself and this red line is the vertical line. The test is conducted on the basis of it. This is origin. So it is intersecting the function at this point. So this is known as uh, a function because there is only one point of intersection. Then another function is plotted which is like this, a v-shaped function. The intersection is happening at this point only. And in this case, the function lies behind this vertical line. It is a minor thing, but you can see that blue arrowheads are visible. It means that the uh, vertical line is just on the function. Function is also a vertical line. So it means that all of these points are common points. So there are so many points that are common or are showing intersection, which means that this is not a function. It is a relation because it is a multi-valued function. And then another function is there. It might seem as if it is something complicated, but the intersection happens on this point only. And uh, if we look at this, uh, it's a circle and it is clearly uh, having an intersection uh, with the vertical line on two points, which means that it is not a function and it is a relation. Then we have a function and this function is basically a curve or a half circle and it is having an intersection only at one point. So it's again a function, not a relation. So you see that simply if there is multiple contact with the vertical line, it means that we are talking about a relation. Now we can map a function as well as a relation. When we map a function, we have the same value, one value for each value of independent variable. As you can see, two leads to four, three leads to six, and 5 leads to 10 and 7 leads to 14. So for one value of the uh, domain, we have one value of range. However, when it comes to relation, it is represented with R where the function was re uh, represented by F. Here you can see 2 gives rise to 4 as well as it gives rise to 6 as well as it gives rise to 10. So from the very first element of the domain, we can see that it is a relation because one member of uh, domain can give rise to multiple values of range. And then three leads to six and then five leads to 10. So it is okay 
but the very first thing has already highlighted that we are talking about a relation. So in this way, the difference between a function and a relation is depicted with the help of mapping as well as with the help of this uh, Cartesian coordinate graph and uh, some numerical instances are also given. So this is how we understand the difference between the functions and relations.